and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls, then please consider subscribing. So for today's video, I have another Timu haul. So again, not sponsored, not gifted, all purchased with my own money. So these are bits that I've been kind of collecting, I would say, over the past month. I've placed a few orders and I've just kind of bundled them all together to show you today. So there isn't, I wouldn't say, a try-on haul in this one as such like there was in my last one. I have two clothing items. What I will do is I will still try them on so you can see what they look like on but I'll just kind of do it as an overlay. I do actually have some home items that I ordered that I have kind of put up already so I thought that would be the best way to show you is by kind of recording them as they're up so you can see them kind of in action shall we say rather than me just kind of holding them up and showing you but yeah let's crack on and I will show you what I got so this is the first item which is quite an interesting looking item it looks a bit weird I'm not gonna lie but I did actually look at getting one of these on Amazon about six months ago because I suffer I've got scoliosis and I suffer really bad with back pain and I saw these, it looks random, I know. Um, but as I say, on Amazon, these were about a tenner, maybe more. But this was £1.38. That's ridiculous. And it feels really nice quality as well. The idea is that you put it on the floor and then you lay on it for however long. And uh, yeah, it kind of helps to straighten, I mean, my, my back's beyond being straightened, but it, it just helps to kind of alleviate any stress, any pain. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try that out. I'm not going in any particular order here, not to start off with anyway, because uh, yeah, as I say, it's, it's all stuff that's been collected over a few months and I can't remember what's in what bag. Uh, but next I have this item. So this is for the Dyson hairdryer. And uh, yeah, I was like, okay, how good is this going to be? Because I got my Dyson when they first came out. My husband bought it for me as a Christmas present. And um, a lot of the attachments that you get with them now, you didn't get back then because they simply weren't invented. So yeah, this should be like 40 quid, but this was six pounds. So I haven't tried it yet, but um, yeah, we'll see. It's one for the the flyaways that you kind of use like that just to kind of smooth and straighten but yeah we'll see I, I may do like a, a short or a tiktok or something like that with it so yeah just keep an eye out and yeah if it's any good then you'll find out <laughs> and then talking about shorts and tiktoks I ordered some butterfly items because I've got a, a kind of an idea of a little video that I want to do because I love butterflies and this is kind of like a headband. It's really pretty, actually. I think this was like one pound something. But yeah, it's like this. How beautiful is that? So we've got this kind of like little organza butterflies all over it. And the idea is that you can kind of shape it to your head. And then we have these little bits here, which I'm assuming you can put Kirby grips in or bobby pins, wherever you're from. And then you can kind of pop it around the top like that or you could oh have it around the front if you wanted to although that looks a bit random but you can actually move these around as well because they're just on wire so yeah you put it however you want really if you want it let's put it that way if you want it kind of around there but yeah as I say you can kind of do what you want with it but yeah, it's perfect for kind of like dress up cosplay, anything like that, I would say. Or in my case, you know, if you want it to, to make a video with. But yeah, I think it was like £1.20, £1.30, something like that. But yeah, it, see, it feels a really nice quality. It's really cute. And then I also picked up some little sequins. So these are pink and gold ones. I think they had like different colour themes. So yeah, they're like that. So as you can see, we've got like little butterflies, we've got little flowers, little bunnies. Oh, I didn't even notice those. How cute. And uh, yeah, little hearts. So you can use these for nails or, you know, to stick on your face or whatever. But yeah, I thought they were really cute. And I think these are like 50p. And then I get really bad migraines. So I saw this and thought it would be really good. You basically put water in it and freeze it. Oh, it's really cute actually <laughs> I think it was like £2.30 so yeah it's got that little pattern on so we've got these little puppy dogs on there and then yeah this bit here you see you unscrew it 
and then you pop your water in there stick it in the freezer and it, it's basically like a cold compress really but um yeah what's that say we're super animals yay <laughs> so yeah and then obviously if you've got a headache or a migraine in my case you can uh, like pop it on the back of your neck or on your head or you know if you've got kids and they're getting into scrapes all the time like mine do then um yeah you can uh, pop it on those as well and i also picked up this really cute mouse mat so this is uh, a sam rio one but look how cute is he look at him yeah so well uh, i just need a little mouse mat really for you know when i'm editing and stuff so um yeah i thought that was a perfect size you know i've only got a laptop i haven't got a, a desktop computer so yeah i can kind of put this wherever i want to be and click away so yeah i thought it was really cute i think this was like one pound 60 and then i picked up this really cute headband i've only just got it out of the packaging it's really nice so yeah it's kind of like one of those i just had to um oh no it's got a little bit of metal missing on it or is that a no i think that's something that's come off actually there's nothing in the packaging i think it should have a star there or something and it's come off it's, it's okay it's, it's no big deal um but yeah it's it's really pretty so we've got this kind of gold double headband here with these little diamonds, stars and moons on which i thought was really cute let's just pop it on i wouldn't wear it like this but just like that just to show you it looks really nice yeah I like that. I'm a bit gutted that there's a star missing, but I don't know. I might be able to um, get them to send me another one out. There we go. So, yeah, I thought that was really pretty. Nice. Oh, and then am I going to be able to get this on camera? I love this. Yep, I've, I've got some pictures to show you as well. Towards the end, I'll show you the bits that I've kind of put on, uh, or put on, put around the house. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of to go with it. So this is a, a doormat but yeah can you see so it's like this so we've got lumiere on here and then it says be our guest so it's a disney blue beauty beauty and the bluest so it's a disney beauty and the beast mat so yeah on the picture i'm not gonna lie it kind of looked like it was coiled but i thought that was a bit too good to be true because it was only like three pound fifty uh, but it's not it's this kind of like really soft material i have to say really nice quality do you know what i've got a another mat that i also got from timu that's uh, down by our we've kind of got like double french doors that's down by those and also i got my son a mat i'll show you that in a bit actually um that we got in for his birthday that's the switch and it's exactly the same they're really nice quality rugs i mean they're not you know your thick rug that you get from wherever uh, but they are you know really nice just to, just to look nice and as I say it's perfect for the back door really I prefer it to be a bit thinner because you can stick it in the wash oh yeah another Dyson item well for my hairdryer anyway is this here I haven't opened this yet and it's basically a I don't know if, if you've looked if you've got a Dyson dryer but you look for these um like you know where you can attach it to the wall and they're all made for dryers that have got like a big nozzle on them well obviously the, the Dyson's quite stubby so you can't often do that so it's quite hard to get hold of one that is specifically you know made for the Dyson and I came across this one so this was I think it was four pounds something but yeah, you get one of these. These are brilliant. I've got another item in the house that's, um, sorry, I've got hair, that's got this on it as well. And uh, yeah, they're so strong, like really strong. And yeah, you attach it to the wall using this. And then, yeah, it kind of, you, you slot it on, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I think these are absolutely great. I'm really pleased with this. I think it's really nice. And then we also have some little compartments on it here where you can put like, I suppose other nozzles or you know brushes or whatever but yeah so that on the wall looking nice and neat and tidy we've even got a bit here you know for the cord and uh yeah nice and then i grabbed these this was a bit a bit weird actually because um on the listing it said like one of these was 88p i think two of them was like one pound 27 i get three for 88p <laughs> so i was like oh i'll have three then so uh, 
yeah, I've got three. So it's it's these, which I, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? But basically, they have these these little discs. So it's the same sticky stuff as uh, as the Dyson thing I just showed you, and these stick again to whatever you want to stick them to really and therefore you could put jewellery on these actually but I'm going to put um scrunchies on them so that's what they're kind of for for like hair bands and stuff so yeah again I love organization but yeah for 88 pence for three of them you know I think it's an absolute bargain and then again for kind of more creative makeup looks I picked up these so I'm going to use these as they they are kind of like, you know, a pre-made uh, cluster lashes, Russian lashes, whatever. But they're obviously pink and I'm going to use them underneath. So just for, you know, creative purposes, really for me. But yeah, they're not, I wouldn't say they're amazing quality or anything like that, but they're all right just for just for a makeup look. Yeah, I think these were less than a pound, 80p maybe. But yeah, not bad. They are C curl and they're 11 millimeters if you're into lashes. But yeah, so they're really nice. And then I also grabbed this and you're probably thinking, wow, you're brave, which yeah, I do like to try things out, to be honest with you. But these I have actually seen, like this brand, I have actually seen on Amazon as well. And uh, I have tried quite a few of the Amazon uh, lash lift kits. And got on really well with them, to be quite honest with you. But this is basically a single-use lash lifting kit. So because I only do my own lash lifts nowadays, um, if you buy the full kits and you don't use them within three months, like all of the solution, it actually stops working because it kind of goes out of date. So I end up throwing away so much and yeah, it's really wasteful. So I thought this being a single use kit would actually be perfect for me. And not only that, obviously, because it's only single use, it was only about three quid. So it's a lot cheaper as well. In here, you get all the solution that you need for one application. So we have some, oh, two cleansers in there. So one for each eye and we have the glue just here as well. There's loads of glue in there. And then we have the permanent and the fixing solution and the uh, nutrition, which is basically the oil to lift it off the pads. This isn't bad, you know. And then we also have some little uh, micro applicator things there, a couple of spoolies. We have one of the little comb things to attach into the pads. We have a full set of the lash pads in there as well, which is great. And there's also some under eye pads as well so yeah really really good brilliant I might actually do a little review whoops I might actually do a little review on this you know do a YouTube video testing it out yeah because I bet a lot of people look at them and they think oh you know it's so cheap is it going to be bad for my eyes or anything but to be honest with you if you check the ingredients they've all got pretty much the same stuff in and uh yeah as I say this brand I have seen quite a lot on Amazon oh yes and then I picked these up. So this is basically hair tinsel. And I used to use this all the time in my probably 20s. And I love it. Absolutely love it. So it's so easy to fit. I am going to film this as well. You basically get like a small piece of your hair and you, you form like um, a slip knot and put it at the root. But they're really good because they're um, heat resistant as well. At least the ones that I used to use are. I haven't tried these ones yet. But yeah, you can like put curlers, straighteners or whatever over the top of them. And they're absolutely fine. So yeah, these were 80p, I think. And you get quite a lot here. But yeah, I, I think it looks really cool. It really does. Then I grabbed a reel of this. Um, yeah, this is basically tape that you can use to stick like stuff basically you know the the pads that i was just showing you like these ones here it's basically that but in tape like command strips i suppose and uh yeah it's it's really good so uh yeah 50 pence a reel is a brilliant price because i've paid a lot more believe me then i also picked up this which i haven't actually opened yet this is a pulse simulation machine and this cost me just under a fiver but i'm hoping it will help me to sleep I'm a terrible sleeper, really, really bad, always have been. 
and uh, this is kind of like um, you, you hold it in your hand basically when you're going to sleep and it kind of I believe it helps to kind of slow down your pulse which obviously leads to you being able to go to sleep better it's actually smaller than I thought but that's better because it's probably easier to hold nice color so it looks like this and I think you kind of just as I say you just kind of hold it so you know if you're going to sleep or whatever you can just hold it in your hands I don't know how it works I haven't used it yet but um I will let you know but yeah I think it was like £4.50 also got one of these little beauties that I've been seeing everywhere and this was like 20p maybe 30 um yeah and you basically use these on the front bit of your hair like that and then you blow dry it and then when you take it out oh it um yeah it's supposed to give you like a really nice kind of voluminous a bit at the front there so nice and glamorous so yeah but I've, I've again I've looked in other places and they've been a lot more expensive but this one seems absolutely fine like quality wise so yeah I will try that out soon as well Oh, I got this. This was about £1.50, which is basically a tanning back applicator. So, you know, can't reach around the back. So you just pop your tan on there. And uh, yeah, kind of like you're, you're drying yourself off with your towel. Uh, yeah, and you can just rub your tan into your back. Brilliant. Oh, I got this as well, which to be honest, I bought when I still had my hair extensions in. And uh, I don't know if it's going to work as well with my hair being a bit shorter. But I forgot I'd even bought it. So it's one of those, you know, you've probably seen these everywhere. But you put it on your head like that. And then you, oh, it might be all right. And then you wrap your hair around it. And then you wake up the next morning with amazing curls. So yeah, this was three quid, I think. So yeah, I, I think I will try it and see what it's like with shorter hair. Because to be honest, most of the time you see these videos and they've all got like really long hair or extensions in. And uh, yeah, and it will look amazing. But um, I haven't seen many of people do this with shorter hair. So uh, yeah, maybe that's uh, something to try. And then again, for, you know, TikToks, things like that, I got some glitter tattoos. So these ones have got like butterflies. These, these would be great, obviously, if you've got kids as well for them. But yeah, there's some really cute little designs on there. I think these were like 50 pence each. And then there's these ones with two butterflies on just there as well. Also got some little stick on diamantes there as well. And you get a couple of wax pencils, uh, a sharpener. And I'm not sure what that is at the back. Oh, tweezers. There's some tweezers at the back there as well. Um, so yeah, I chose the kind of um, iridescent ones, I suppose. So yeah, these were like, I think these were less than a pound, like 80 pence or something for all of this. So yeah, really good price. Uh, yeah, again, to stick on my face, but you can obviously use those for nails as well. Then I've got a few jewellery bits. I've never actually ordered jewellery from them, but I'm really happy with these. So there's a little tight, let me take it out of the packet. So first of all, there's this. I'll try and get it to, yeah. So we have a little bee here with a glittery wings. And this is a little ear cuff. So yeah, I've got quite small ears, so this would probably be quite good for me, actually. These jewellery items were all less than 50p, I think, like, you know, between 20 and 50 pence. And then there's a set here of all different little ear cuffs as well. So like that. They look really pretty, don't they? And then this is quite interesting, actually, because this is kind of like supposed to look like um, a tragus piercing. I think it's called the tragus, but it looks like this. So it's for basically for that part of your ear. So again, like I said earlier, for headaches and things like that, apparently, I don't know how well it would work, but you're supposed to, oh, that does look nice, but you're supposed to pop it there. And then it's supposed to stop you getting like headaches if you're prone to headaches. I really like that. That looks really nice. Um, so yeah, we will see if it works or not. Probably not, but if not, it looks nice. So I'm still happy. Then I oh, these are so cute. A fly. Then I also picked up these. So these are teeny tiny little um spongy things. So look, how cute are these? They feel really nice, actually. And then you basically pop your finger in there like that. And you can kind of use them in like the small areas for powders and even, I suppose it'd be right for foundation, which is what I'm going to use them for. 
Um, but yeah, you can get right in there in those tiny little areas. But oh, they're so cute, really, really cute. And there's three in here, and I think these cost me like one pound fifty. I also got some tiny micro spoolies as well for my eyebrows. These are quite good for like if you do eyebrow lamination and things like that, or if you want that kind of spiky brow look, kind of like what I have. Um, but yeah, there's 10 in there. And again, they were like a, a quid, maybe a little bit more, £1.50. But yeah, I also picked up some castor oil. So again, looking at the ingredients, I think this is going to be absolutely fine because all it contains is castor oil, argan oil, camellia seed oil and Yehoba seed oil as well. So all natural oils. There's nothing weird in this at all. So I think it's going to be absolutely fine. But I got this for my eyelashes. I've used castor oil in the past for eyelash growth and it's worked really well. So I thought this is nice and small. It cost about two quid like that. And uh, yeah, I, what I do is um, I keep hold of an old um, mascara tube. God, I can't, I can't talk today. Mascara tube and I just clean it out and then I put the castor oil in there and then you can kind of apply it to your lashes at night or with a little micro applicator as well. But yeah, I thought that was quite good. I also grabbed this. So um, this was like two quid for, I got it for like uh, my stairs. I've had one in the past and it was absolutely brilliant. This is a bit smaller than the one I had before. But yeah, you kind of um, use it. You can hear how kind of rough it is. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but yeah, you kind of use it like that and it just gets up any like animal hairs or any bits or anything like that or right in those awkward places in the stairs, you know, that you can't quite get to with the hoover nozzle. And uh, yeah, you can kind of pull it out and uh, have really nice kind of fresh looking carpets. So yeah, really good. Right then, so I have a couple of items of clothing. So this is the first one. I saw this and I absolutely fell in love with it, to be quite honest with you. It's really weird and daft, but that's that's the sort of thing I like. I think this is actually supposed to be a men's. But yeah, it's this sweater here. So it's basically just an average kind of sweater. But we have this really cute logo on here that says Silly Goose which I love. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And a picture of a goose. Yeah, it reminds me of a game. Oh, what was it? This really cute, but absolutely weird game that I used to play with my son years ago. Um, and it basically had a goose that went around like stealing stuff from people. Well, that, that was the aim of the game. You had to steal stuff from people and like put it in random places and basically wind up old men and stuff. It was really quite funny. But yeah, this goose kind of reminds me of that one. So, yeah, if you're a gamer or anything like that and you can remember what it's called, let me know because that really bugged me. But, um, yeah, it reminds me of that. I think it's cute. And then I also picked up this adorable T-shirt. So talk about my childhood on an item of clothing. So it's Strawberry Shortcake. How cute is she? Really nice. Really nice quality as well. Oh, sorry, the jumper was £7, by the way. And this was a fiver, I think. So, yeah, I thought it was absolutely adorable, though. So cute. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't smell of strawberries. There's no scratch and sniff here. But, yeah, it's actually printed on there. It's not um, like the jumper was, you know, kind of uh, stuck on, like all ironed on afterwards or whatever. It's actually in the print. So that's really cool. But, yeah, I thought she was so cute. Just look at her. She is adorable. So, yeah, I got myself that little T-shirt as well. So, yeah, as I say, the rest of the items I've kind of, they're home items that I've already put up. So I'm going to just take you around and just show you, um, yeah, what I bought and what they look like up as well. The pictures, I'm so proud of them. But yeah, I'll show you those as well. So these are the pictures that I was talking about. I love them. Absolutely love these. They couldn't have gone any better, to be quite honest with you. So the inside so this bit obviously here is from Timu and it comes like on a, a canvas and then it's printed on the top but it's really good quality I mean I don't know how well you can see but the print is really nice quality and then what I did is I bought the frame so these frames here I bought from I can't remember like pound stretcher or something for about three pounds each and then got some uh, of the spray 
paint stuff like the stone effect one from B&M for eight quid for a can and just sprayed it and it's gone so nice. I absolutely love them. Really nice. So I've got three of them. So there's this one here, which is a Beauty and the Beast one. This one, which is an Alice in Wonderland one. And this other Beauty and the Beast one as well. So yeah, that's how they look on the wall all together, which I think look really nice. So yeah, absolutely love those and uh, £3.50 per print. So by the time I got the, the frames and the spray paint, I think it works out about £8 a print. And then for the cat, I bought her this bed here, which I thought was really cool. So it was about £6 or £7 maybe, £6 something, <coughs> excuse me, £6 something. And it's this really nice kind of grey felt material. I think there was a darker one as well. And then obviously it has this hole in here and we have this um, like spongy base just here. But I think this is so, so cool. You know, cats love being in small spaces, don't they? So uh, yeah, the only thing is I bought it to go in these units and it doesn't fit. But these are quite small. These are the, uh, from B&M. But we are going to get some of the ones that are like the, um, the Calax size, the Ikea ones. So they will fit those. And then we got two of these. So these are little spotlights that you put just above your bed. So we've got them just above the headboard like that. And they're three colour lights. So that's the bright light. And then that's warm. And then it's got like a trickle of light as well. Um, obviously it's daytime, so you can't see too well. But as you can see, they're kind of touch, touch lights. And then they have a charging port here so you can charge them. And then a little magnetic dot here. So really easy. You can just do that. So you've got no cables or anything like that. And these were, I think, £3.50 each. They were a bit smaller than I expected them to be, if I'm being totally honest. But I am still really happy with them. It's surprising how much light they give off when it's dark. It gives like, we use the warm light and it gives a really nice cosy sort of ambience. It's really nice. And then very lastly in my bathroom, so I might sound a bit echoey, I got this, which I love. I think it is so cool. So this is a toilet roll holder, but it's also like a little um, storage thing as well. So your toilet roll goes in the bottom here. So you just press that and obviously you've got your toilet roll in there, which you just feed through here. Uh, kind of like, you know, you, you have them in, I don't know, public toilets or whatever, but I just think it looks really tidy. And then in here, you can obviously put your lady items or whatever where else you want to put in there. And then we have this little like shelf just here. At the back here, there is a little bit for you to put your, your phone or your tablet. <laughs> if you're on the toilet for a substantial amount of time but uh, yeah so no I think that looks really nice and that was 11 pounds and this is the rug that I was talking about that's in my son's bedroom so yeah it is really smart it obviously looks like a Nintendo Switch but I think it's really cool so they came in I think three or four different sizes we got the I think one of the biggest ones if not the biggest one but it fits a, he's got like a small double and it fits at the bottom perfectly it's so cool absolutely love it and this was I think we paid about six pounds seven pounds for this one so really good price yeah as you can see it is kind of like really quite nice quality sorry about that really quite nice uh quality as well so yeah really happy with it and again it's got this kind of back into it so it's nice and washable so there we go there is my timu haul and yeah i'm really happy with everything actually uh love the home items and the accessories i i pretty much you know got what i expected from most of it as I say, it's just the headband was the only disappointment, but you know, that's that's not the worst thing in the world, is it? So as always, all products shown in today's video, I will link in the description box below for you, along with any discount codes. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean the absolute world to me. If you did enjoy watching this video and you would like to see more content from me in the future and you would like to subscribe to my channel. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.